Hey y'all, it's Anime Kid Man. Today I'm going to be live reacting to Kona Oto Tomori episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's get this started. Woo! Last week was a pretty great episode though. I did like how it gave some depth to Kota, so let's see if this... Let's see how they're going to go this week with them training and all that. Mm. I wonder if we'll see more of Sensei's supportive side like you kind of saw last week. Oh! Ah. <laughs> He's supposed to help though. Ha! Huh? <laughs> I wonder if Chaika's gonna actually take this. Oh, he's right. Oh, I think the sense will be wrong, though. I think, if anything, she could rub off on them. Mmm. Aw. That's sweet. Yes! Stick it up for her friends. Hella proud of her. And plus, that could actually push Halsuki to improve herself even more. So that's what I also like about this. Oh, well, the opening started. Pretty much giving up all my thoughts on the opening. So while the opening's playing, let me just give my analysis on what I think Chaika's gonna do right before the episode starts. I think maybe what Chaka is going to do is he's going to let Kurata lead ahead when it comes to the musical playing and then he's going to follow Kurata's lead and that's probably what Chaka got from the sensei considering that Kurata's got more experience playing with the Kodo and all that kind of jazz. That is likely what's going to happen. It could, I could be completely wrong, it could be um, something else completely. But, at least that's, from my perspective, that's the only thing I believe that Chaka could gather from that conversation, though. But who knows? The, the opening's about to end, so we're gonna... We're gonna get to see some new material soon. And then again, still those two different couples. One of them in, like, the green and blue silhouettes. It still hasn't shown off who those four characters are. It makes me wonder. If they're gonna be major players before the before this season ends or not. That's what I'm wondering. Well, the opening has ended. Oh, okay, I was on the money then. Alright. And it does make sense too, because Shaka is really good at reacting to a situation too. Like how he's able to pick up on how Hozuki is playing and he's able to pick on pick it up on his own pretty quickly. Oh so wait. we gotta pretty much listen to each other. Okay. Oh Oh, <laughs> seeing him smile is so cool. Oh, seeing Kuro smile is so cool too. <laughs> seeing them bond like friends like this is such a beautiful thing. I love it! Mmm. 
Sounds like it's going to be a tough task. Check it doesn't understand what's going on, does he? <laughs> Look at his face! I know it! <laughs> Thinking back, that's all true. I don't know. If, well, I thought we get something this steep from Coda. And that's sure you gotta appreciate these small, nice moments. Oh, that's LSC from Caruso. <laughs> Small head pat. I like it. All right. I like it. I think Koda's going to actually pull it off this time. We've had too much build up for him to mess up. All right. Woo! Did he pull off? Oh yeah, he did. Woo! They all look fucking tired as if they went to towards like running a track meet. <laughs> or as if they ran through a marathon. <laughs> but I guess the stress factor, that's probably it. Yes! Adorable little smile from Hosuki. Good. Compliment Caruso even more, Kurana. She deserves it. Yay! <laughs> oh! Aww. <laughs> Man, seeing Caruso like that smile is hella sweet. to see this development where uh, originally they were all just looking at this club to screw around and now everyone's taking it earnestly seriously and I'm sure Hosuki feels like moments like this could last forever too with the way she, she's with the way of her facial expressions and I like how the animators were able to portray that even though the show doesn't have the biggest budget, they do a lot with what they're given to work with. And that's what's really good about this show. Most animes, when they don't have a budget, they just fall apart. But this anime doesn't. And now I understand what he actually meant. And I'm liking seeing Jack smile more and more. It's a big contrast to how it was at the start of the series, you know? Hmm. Oh, so that's going to be the actual.
That's a good approach to put into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that Chaka Smug smile too. <laughs> So that's a hella cute moment though, I gotta say. I like it. I like these small intimate moments. <laughs> and it's funny, I like the subversion. Usually in those instances it'd be the female hitting the dude. But it's instead someone else. <laughs> I like that little subversion. And it's cute! You can even see Hosuki I kind of liked her too because she's blushing. <laughs> oh. Again, it shows you the long way that Hosuke's character has come because she appreciates everyone in the club to the point that if this would have been the Hosuke that we got when she was first introduced, she probably would have hit Chaka or something like that. So I like that. See those little, little bits of character development. Oh my. Would so pick and knock it out of the park. Is what we want. Wasn't the dirt face and the girl with the skirt is too long? A lot of derpy faces there when it comes to the long distance shots, you know? Yeah, Mario. Hope this prince gets a bounce in the tournament. And that actually is a good way of raising the stakes if they ever participate in the tournament. <laughs> yes. Show her her place, Chaka. Boy, Jacko. Huh. And I like it. Oh, never mind. I'll. Hmm. Ho 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 ho! My. That is some cockiness. Yeah, he did. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Oh my. I'm actually kind of pumped up to hear some performance now. Even though it's not entirely jam-packed, still a lot of people. Oh! I like that little distance shots. It's a great way of establishing the stakes, what's on the line. And it's a good way of showing off the adversity that our main crew is going to have to go through. And if we hear how good Mario is... Oh my, it's a lot of layers then for us. Alright. Pumped up for this. Since they've been hyped up to fucking... They've been hyped up a lot! I wanna... S oh yeah, they're probably gonna live up to the hype, but I wanna see this. I hope the animators actually animate this, though, and don't take the still shot approach. 
you know? Okay, a distant shot, but actually you want... Oh! Even though the animation isn't great, I do like the artwork of the flower petals and all of that. Kind of gives it its own atmosphere. Mmm. The animation's lacking a few keyframes, though. You can hell tell. But the music itself is... Okay, animation's good now in that sequence with the girl playing on the instrument. Hmm. Okay, animation's good now. Good. Okay, now it's back to the laggy style. But, I like the way they disguise the bad animate. The not-so-great animation with, like... I mean, sort of like a storybook-like type of shading. But I think in time, Hozaki will probably be able to move together the group, though. I think it's just a matter of time, as Hozaki girls as an individual. But I like it, though. It means that we're getting to see Hozaki in a humbled-like situation, and she's acknowledging her own weaknesses that she's gonna most likely work on as the series progresses, so I like that in a way. See, beautiful. I like. Oh. What the? It's messed up to be talking about that happily just because the guy's been hospitalized. Alright. Taking the chance to play. What the? Huh. Oh. I can't blame him for trying, though, as a kid to play sports, though. He just probably just wants to fit, fit with the other kids in school. Huh. You know, it was cruel cool for those kids to say that. It's perfectly natural for kids to have a reaction like that. Poor Osuke, though, he's probably going to be thinking that he doesn't want to drag down Asuno in whichever game they play. Oh! Oh, that's all considerate of Asuno. Oh. oh, so that's how he got into Kodo Plane. Okay, that's something worthy. Really. Oh! Those assholes! I'm glad she ignored those motherfuckers. What the? Let's see what he's gonna come up with.
that's how he's able to do that then. Hmm. That was honestly a really interesting backstory then on Uosuke, on Uosuke then. Damn, gotta respect the writing staff. They can like make you for a second not care too much about a character, and then it's like boom, backstory, and then you really do care about that character. That's hella impressive. Oh. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of being alone, though. Damn! Who would have thought there'd be so much darkness within that nice, gentle demeanor? And I'm saying darkness, and I like. Okay, now I gotta admit, that's a good effect. Like having the feeling of of winter while he's playing the music. And it does have a store snowstorm like feeling too with its quickness and power of the music. And I like how the animators actually express that too. Through the artwork. With it being as if symbolically there was like a snowstorm playing right now. Well, a few moments ago, because the performance is now over. see more but darn this episode this anime it's continuing its streak of amazing episodes I gotta say for one never thought I would say that damn I like this Uosuke character but you know what I fucking like this Uosuke character I gotta say I like how they introduced his struggle and then in the span of the same episode it shows you his solution to him dealing with the struggle which is just pretty much him learning how to interpret people's feelings and emotions so that he isn't left alone. So I like that. It makes Uosuke into a layered character and this anime just continues surpassing my expectations because when they first introduced him like a few episodes ago in that quick clip, I never thought they'd give him this much depth, so that is impressive. And additionally, I like the subtle amount of character development we're getting with Hozuki too. Like with the physical contact when Chaika accidentally fell, I mean when Hozuki accidentally fell on Chaika, she didn't hit Chaika or get angry or any of that. Instead she was blushing as if maybe some part of her actually did enjoy that. That was also really, really cute and sweet. Showing her that she's getting closer with the group. You have Kurusu and Kurata also making some of the connections there where Kurata compliments Kurusa, and Kurusa's is all like, well, you can invite me somewhere. And I like that. Showing you some of the friendships forming. I mean, they're already forming, but they're getting much more thicker and stronger. Hmm. Interesting preview. There, not much to glance from that, but regardless, I'm excited. I don't even, no matter what they do, I'm hyped up for the next episode. And that was really a cool thing about this episode that I really liked. And also, in addition to fleshing out Caruso a bit more, I also like how they flesh out Chaki a bit more. You see him smiling with much more positivity. He's able to joke around with Hosuki a bit more too when he says, oh, so you really do enjoy playing the Kota with us and all that kind of jazz making up for some really funny and hilarious scene. You're having Hosuki openly say that she enjoys those moments with everyone else too and how she... And then it even implies that she wishes those kind of moments could last forever too. Like the moments when they're all having fun. So I like that. It's showing you much more happiness overall within the crew. And it's earned because you saw them at first when characters were introduced, there was a sort of struggle. And now that we're getting their happy moments, 
it feels much, much more earned because he saw them work towards these relationships. And that's what I also really liked about this episode. It made it really, really good and endearing. And really, and he even had some bits of comedic moments here too, like when the sensei gave him the advice just to fucking not be bothered anymore and the advice actually worked for Chaika and Karada. So the script, aside from having nice dramatic moments, it still had some nice comedic moments. And the art was pretty nice for the most part, except for like a few derp faces here and there, like in distant shots, like with the chick with the long ass skirt and the small legs. I was like, wait, what? And then with like the deformed arms, so there are there were some weaknesses in the artwork. And then the Coda performance that was in the second half of the episode was good for the most part, but the start did start out with like a few still shots here and there. And at times when there was animation, there it, the lack of keyframes were, were noticeable. But overall, I love this episode. I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10, despite a few animation issues here and there. Because overall, the content we had was just plain amazing. So anyways, everyone, these are my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts in the comments section below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. If you subscribe for more, alright. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Have a great and safe day, and I'll see you guys later. If you come back for more, bye-bye.